for more Thank perspective you. on this indictment, we do want to bring in criminal defense attorney and former Manhattan prosecutor Jeremy Saland. Jeremy, thanks for being with us uh, tonight. Obviously, a huge night. Walk us through your reaction to this. This was something that seemed like it could be coming down the road. Nevertheless, when it hit, it was quite a Shocking. moment for sure. Yeah. Well, it's certainly shocking because he's a sitting mayor, and it's really a horrific place to be in for him and for the people of, in, of the city of New York and beyond. But when you start hearing what are not just stories, but in fact the gathering and taking of phones, the search warrants on, on deputies' homes, uh, your, your commissioner of the NYPD uh, steps down, whether it's tied to it or not, the acting commissioner of the NYPD, and prior aides or people he was associated with, Eventually, you have to look and say, the federal government is not building a case to come downward to get those on the bottom of the pyramid. They generally, and we should expect, they are building upwards to find that top dog, if you will, mm -hmm. who's perpetrating what they believe to be the crime. Where does that end? In the city of New York. That would be the mayor. And who is that mayor? Mayor Adams. So it doesn't come as a surprise, but I remind anyone who's watching and listening, there is due process, and he's absolutely innocent, just like anyone else, until if and when proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Right, and as you just said, I mean, top dog, mayor of New York City, this great city. I mean, talk to us, walk us through how they have to have their ducks in a row in order to bring forth this indictment, just how, um, how detailed they have to be to make this kind of indictment. Yeah, you know, I would expect, and, and this is coming from the Southern District, which is, you know, one of the top, if not the top uh, district uh, across the United States, that when you use the term ducks in a row, they have all their homework done. They are ready. This is not reactionary. They've been building and building and building because the last thing that they want in any case, but let alone a case with such potential political fodder and fire, is to have a mess up in that indictment, meaning insufficient evidence presented improperly, not establishing the elements of the crime. So whether it's by way of search warrants, whether it's by way of cooperators, wires, we don't know yet. We'll learn that when the discovery is shared. But they certainly have this case tied up. But again, I'm going to keep on saying it because it's so important. He is innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But it's certainly they are ready to go, they meaning the federal government. What, what do you make of his defense so far? I mean, he put out a statement, and he's basically saying he's being targeted for standing up for New Yorkers. What do you make of that? You know, you know I, I don't like those defenses. I think as a, as a defense attorney, I can understand why you would say that. It's not about me. It's about the bad guys targeting and, and coming after me. And what am I doing? I'm protecting you, the people of the city of New York. We've heard this before. It's the Trumpian line of defense, too. And I think whether you're a Democrat or Republican, whether you're Donald Trump or Mayor Adams, it does no service to the state of New York, to the people of the United States, to the, to the meaning of government and law and order, if you constantly attack prosecutors for having some agenda. If they wanted to have an agenda, they could have, theoretically, although you wouldn't see it happen, said, hey, Mayor Adams, step down and we won't prosecute you. That doesn't happen because the government doesn't want to find itself in a place where it seems like it's pressuring them to politics. So let's just stick with the four walls of the indictment and the evidence, but I understand why the mayor is doing this. Right. It erodes faith in the government from voters' right. yeah, perspective, which is so corrosive.